on the boat. I've chamfered off the edges all the way around so they're like like that and the other way so it's like an arrow <laughs> and I've pre-pregged with resin all the way around wound it all in that gap up there and I've put a piece of the old bit of boat on the back just taped it on so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a layer of glass fiber across there and let that go off so I've got something to work with it won't it won't be like a hopefully that won't stick too bad but then I can pull this off and hopefully that back panel will stay in place and I've got something to work with because I suppose it I'm not a fiberglass person but I'm just thinking out loud that if I put a piece across there let it go off then I can remove this and then I can start layering it on the other side and then I can start layering it on that so I just need to get one piece on let that go off and see what it looks like right that's about the third layer just on the back just to get the basic shape so now I've got to cut a bit same size as that so I can pack it out and build it out and then I can put a, a couple of skins on the back and then I can uh, do the front I just sort of thought you know what I'll, I'll try and make a, a bridge there so I've got something to something to bond to something to fiberglass to <clears throat> because trying to get this edge I'm going to have to dig all this out. I mean, there's a bit of a dry patch there, but I'm not too fussed about that because obviously it's a bit thin there. But then it's got to be tucked in there. So I can start feeding the fiberglass in. And then I can build this edge up. And hopefully, I mean, it's a lot better than what it was. That's for sure. I mean, my first time at fiberglassing. I want it to sound like that. So that's quite solid that is, but that's not. And it's a bit a bit wavy. I should have basically just put a piece of cardboard across there and then masking tape. Because my first attempt, I stupidly put this, I put it on there. So I had to I mean, cut out that which was a bit of a pain, a bit of a mistake there. But it's a learning curve. So anyway, let's crack on and see what it comes out. Right, so I've got the basic form and now I'm gonna fill in this part here and really skin that up and then I can put another final coat over that but it's, it's still sounding a bit hollow and it's still a bit see-through so I need to do that that's what I'm gonna do now well I sort of underestimated this really because this has taken me a whole hour just to rub down 60 grit all the way to here so from there all the way to the end that's just one bit and I've got like probably the same again to the front and then all this and then the other side I'm gonna do this another day I just want to get some of this rubbed down now I'm not a boat person so 
I'm going to ask for your advice. These little cracks in the paint, should I be worried about that? I mean, I know I've got, there's a little repair there that he's doing. There's one there and another one there and a couple up there. Now, I'm just going to use, I'm going to grind it back and I'm going to use structural fiberglass. There's a little one there. I mean, the boat's full of them, really. Down there. There. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grind it. I mean, it's not wet. I mean, I don't know. Maybe someone who knows about fiberglass and boats. <clears throat> and these things here. It's supposed to have a lump of wood going across. Now, is it okay to chop these off? Because... I can't see, I mean, it's just, I don't see the point in them. It's not gonna be beached. I can only presume that that bit of wood that goes across there, is for when it sits on a beach or something like that. When it's all finished, it's just gonna sit on a trailer. So, can I chop these off or not? And obviously fiberglass, everything. I mean, this one's in pretty bad, pretty poor shape. So I'm going to ask your advice. So if there's any boat builders out there or someone knows about fiberglass and boats, I really, really appreciate your help. As I say, should I be worried about these little, I mean, I've rubbed this down and you can, you can't feel them, but just asking. But yeah, this is just like household paint. And it's really thick. I mean, that's really nice and smooth. That's just with 60 grit. And then oh, I'm going to hit it with a um, a lot finer so I can get rid of all the swirly marks. And hopefully that'll be all right to just probably re-gel coat or whatever. But I've put this piece of wood on here so I can get, so I can use that as a form and fix that. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm basically using my car trade skills of fiberglass, fiberglass bodywork on like lotuses and stuff like that with fiberglass body panels. But unfortunately I'm not a boat person so I don't know. So, I mean these lines here, that's like a low spot but I'm gonna get some structural fiberglass filler and then just do that. But that part there, I mean, it's all screwed in. So I can't see why you can't just bond that to that. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's getting there. Also, bung should be a bung in here so that needs repairing because and there's a hole there which is weird I've got the little cap for that but why is there one there is that to let the water out of what's inside the boat and that one's inside the hull Yeah, I've got the bung for that. Anyway, I've got some supplies coming. Oh, God. There's more stuff there. Oh, well. Never mind.
good enough. Right, as you can see, I've done the repair. I've put a bit of white gloss on it just to make it waterproof. Now, it's not 100% perfect. Uh, there's a little blemish there, but all I'm gonna do is basically just put a bit of very fine, very fine body filler in there because um, all that gets covered up by another piece of this wood which is obviously rotten and missing but I don't think that's too bad too bad at all there's a little bit there let's say like <laughs> I shall do that when the whole of the boat's been rubbed down and then I can just go back to any little any little repairs and get it all done it's not going to be perfect and I don't want a bit perfect because obviously it's going to probably get scratched and stuff like that. But there you go. That is the repair. And I'm pretty impressed with that to be fair. I'm pretty impressed. I'm happy. So there you go. Just got to carry on and rub down the rest of it. I started putting a bit of structural fiberglass in there. And I should just go around and any little bits I'll mark and just address as I'm going along. But yeah, there's some still a long way to go. But the main part was the back. And that's done. I did notice that there's a chunk missing here that I've seen on pictures, so They've obviously had a big outboard motor on there and chopped it about. I'm not sure about that because that doesn't look factory. So I might have to address that. I need to find some pictures of this boat and have a look. They probably put a whopping great outboard on there, which is too big for this boat. So I'm going to research this back end and address that. But it's still nice and dry and clean in there, apart from the little skanky bits there. But at least it's clean and it doesn't stink. Well, I've got most of that out of there. I'm just going to wait for it to dry out and then I'm just going to just hoover it up, or dustpan and brush it. The water's still in there. I did expect it because I've jacked the front of the boat up with some railway sleepers and I did expect the water to run out of there it's damp and I have put a rod up there but it's still not coming out so as I said what I should do it looks like there's some kind of there you know, lumps. So I should probably cut in the middle. And then what I might do is I might some fiberglass some strips of wood in and have a, a, a deck area type thing. So I don't really like the look of that. But it's a project, isn't it? So anyway, that's enough for today. Right, as you can see, we're back on the boat. Yesterday, I managed to sand down this area here. This is bit from about there. I've probably done about three of these lines and then down to here. That took like, well, it took about four hours with a DA 60 grit. So today I've just taken out the window and I'm gonna take this bit off. I don't wanna rub down this bit, give these muscles here a bit of a rest but yeah I just I've, to be fair I've underestimated how much rubbing down one of these boats takes maybe I'm being a little bit too what's the word OCD about getting it like nice and smooth but I don't know how thick gel coat is so I'm just going to do it like a, like you would a car. I don't know how much that gel cake 
gel coat covers up, you know, the coverage. So there, more sanding. Day five of sanding. Doesn't look like I've done much, to be fair. So that little bit there, I'm gonna take these rides out. I'm taking that thing off there, whatever that is. I suppose you tie it up to a bit of rope, don't you? I'm gonna try and take this off. So I've taken the window out. That's just like a little trim in the middle. You just pull it out. Yeah. Got to try and get these bolts off it. Hold this on. Look. I'll put the camera underneath because I bet they're pretty crazy. Yeah, they don't look too good, do they? Yeah, I've underestimated this. And I ain't even done half of it yet. Oh well, no good harping about it. Carry on. That one came straight off. That just unbolted. But the ones in here, just tried to snap them. These ones just snapped straight off, which is pretty brilliant. Those ones, that one snapped, these two came off. But these ones, <sighs> them ones, two of them snapped over there. Uh, where's my finger? There, those two snapped. Back one, that one snapped, but the back ones haven't. So I've had to get the old grinder out. Excuse your fingers, because it's quite, quite tight in it. So I've cut a little slot, and hopefully I can turn it around. Oh, there. And, well, it didn't go as well as I thought it'd do, but half of it's come off. Oh, I've still got to get that one in there. Just gotta grind these back off. And oh, 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 I thought, do you know what? I haven't opened this up yet. And you all tell me like it's a little cubby hole. So I've just seen it, it's got open there. So cool, that is quite stiff. Sure, where they come off? Oh. oh. It's full of fiberglass. Is that meant to be like that? Okay. I'm sure there's some kind of conga reel down there. Oh, it doesn't go very far. Hmm. Seems it's all damp. Anyway, not concerned about that because I'm gonna redo the whole hole. But yeah, there it is, open, and there's nothing in there. Okay, let's close it back up with the right way. Look. Right. I got them off without of burning or melting any plastic or sorry fiberglass. But hopefully they should all come out now. So they all free off and they're off. So hopefully I can take that guard off, whatever you want to call it. But I've noticed right in front here there's a bolt. And it looks like loose. Yeah, it is. I can turn that just about. So I think that must be the ring outside. So that needs to be tightened up because you're only slacking that. Pull the front of the boat off. Anyway, whew. let's go outside. Cool, that's, that's mould up there, isn't it? It's fucking minging. More silic bang. And yes, Sharon, you were right. Well, that silic bang is no good for your hands, is it? Look, taking the skin off my knuckles. Listen to you. Right. 
Oh. Well, if you can sit in here, I mean, we are at a funny angle because obviously the boat's jacked right up at the, right up at the front. But I reckon you could. I reckon. Well, no, maybe not. Well, three people. One there. On that side. And one here. Put some nice cushions in here. No, can't really sit like that. But yeah, I reckon you could have three people in here. I don't know where you can have a table. I don't think you can have a table just for sitting. Which is a shame, because I'd like somewhere to sit and maybe have, I don't know, a pot noodle or something. What I might do in that corner there is put some bits of aluminium up and maybe a locker in this corner here, make something like a little, little kitchen prep area and then I can put a little hole, make a recess for the jet boil so it doesn't fall over. That's the plan. And then uh, with the electrical system, I've researched a little bit and you can buy waterproof MPPT uh, controllers, solar controllers and with the solar panel I'm just going to put a house solar panel on the back here on, well on the roof on, on, I could build a canopy so I'm going to put it on there and that MPPT can actually take 50 volts input so happy days well, unless someone wants to give me a power bank or whatever anyway I think it's um beer o'clock Oh yeah, that was a close call, wasn't it? Look at that. That's, that's fit for the bin now. That's falling apart. So anyway, beer o'clock. I'm gonna cut the slips of beer, and then. Oh yeah, I've had to apologise to my neighbours because I covered their BMW convertible <laughs> in dust. But they've been really fantastic about it. They really have. They said their car was dirty and I'm going to wash it anyway, so... And luckily, our dog Teddy, and they got a dog Ted, so Big Ted and our dog Little Ted, they play with each other. In fact, they're in the back garden now. So anyway, let's crack on. Let's get this rail system off. Wait for the noisy car to go past. I don't really think I can do a Leo. Oh. Well, it's freaking wobbly. I'm standing on the bow of the boat. Yeah. Right, let's get down for a fall down. Right, so it's off. No furniture on top of the boat now. It's just, I'll have to take these hinges off because that's not, not attached. So I'll take the hinges off and then I've got a flat surface to get to. Right, hopefully. Yes. Come on, you can do it. All right. All right, one of these ones, these ones will come off. Oh yeah. Perfect. Job's a good one. So all the furniture, apart from that, which I'm not going to take off. I don't think that's going to come off. Not without a fight. 
But all I do is I'll just mask that up. Job's done. So. Oof. Take the seal out, the middle seal out of this. That window can come out. I'm not sure if I want to bond that in. I might do, because I expect that would just leak. It might, it might not. It's got quite a deep channel. See how it goes. Wait for it to rain first. Right, break out the sander. Right, all I'm using to sand this down is a cheap Wix 20 quid, and with the old club card, I think it come out at like 18 pound 10p. And if it burns it out, it burns it out. It's got a three year warranty, so whatever. Anyway, it's a glorious day. Sun is shining. The van's over there. Sun shining on that. Getting nice hot water for free. And I wanna sand this top part off. And then hopefully, if I can, move it on down here. But it is really hot. And I wanna uh, get as much as I've done. But where I've ground off some those bolts, Obviously the uh, metal filings. And I don't want them to sit in there too long because I don't want it to rust. I know fiberglass don't rust, but it leaves a mess. So I want to get that cleaned up. And I've made a bit of a mess there. And also, I haven't cleaned in this one yet. It's nice and dry in there, so I want to do that. And then I can rub that down. But before I do that, I'll take that window out. So let's crack on. Ah. ah, 60 is a different disc. Hang on. 60. Oh, it's pretty worn. Right, new disc time. What are these ones? 80. Right, let's change this disc. It's getting furred up already. Hmm, it's not on properly, is it? Alright, I'm going to carry on. Right, here we go. I've started making the uh, infills for the gunnels. I've laced it with wood inside and just put some expanding foam around the side just to give it a bit of shape. Put some braces on there, bits of wood, <coughs> hopefully. And then uh, if it comes out all right, I'll repeat it all the way around. I've done a bit more sanding down, done the rest, got the lights out, got the window out, done the surround, done a bit more to the top deck, done a bit more there, and I've done half. The paint is so thick, it's unbelievable. And I've done a little bit more down the bottom here, and I've started chipping away at here. So uh, I'm absolutely creamed. So you can see, I filled these in. These are just based out at the moment. There is a bit of a lump there, so I can get the proper curve. That one's got a bit of a dip in it, so I'm just gonna fill that. But I need to shape this, this edge isn't shaped properly. So I've rubbed down quite a bit. Let's see. I've got to do in here, but the whole side it's all been rubbed down, prepared. Doesn't look too bad. There's a couple of bits and pieces that I've got to fill in. So I've got some more fiberglass, so I'm gonna do them. Just these little bits. And I'll probably just get some stopper and tidy them up so they're nice, because there's a little hole in there. 
doesn't look too bad. So I've just scurfed off this side quickly to knock most of it off. And that has all got to be, this side actually a lot better. The only dint that I can find in it is a little bit there. But obviously I'm going to remove these. Oh yeah, I'll show you the other side. So there's only two left and I've taken the other two off. But now I've got a hole in the bottom of the boat. So I've got some fiberglass. I'm going to scurf around, around the hole, fill it from the inside and then put some structural fiberglass underneath. But first of all, I need to flat all this off, take the steering off, but I'll do that tomorrow and finish the rest of the roof. Take this window out. So I've done one side. And we've got to do all this now. So I've just ground down the little pop rivets. Sand all that down. Whew. It's a lot of sanding, I must admit. I've underestimated how much sanding a fiberglass boat needs really have but there you go oh yeah got yourself a trailer 200 quid look how clean it is probably might have to extend it a little bit there only by about probably a foot but i'm gonna do that another day i'm waiting for a winch that hasn't got a winch so I've got a winch come in. So I've just ground out this hole here where, I don't know, a tie, is it a cleat? A cleat? I don't know. I think it's called a cleat. So yeah, you can see that side. I've got, that, got a hole to fill in there with the fiberglass. And I've sort of cleaned up a bit more inside Found a bit of foam, I've got two bits of that. So that looks all right. Anyway, back to sanding. Back to getting this normal household paint off of here. What possession to do that, I don't know. But hey ho, right, let's crack on. Just taking me two hours to do that bit there. A little bit of top and a little bit there, a little bit there, and a little bit in there. And I'm creamed, absolutely creamed. I still got to do the front. Do something with that. But yeah, gotta get in these little bits. We've got all in the grooves here. Got all that done. I haven't got to pay too much attention to that as long as it's smooth because I'm gonna have a bit of plexiglass across there and I'll probably put some dials and some whatever here. And then like make a little cover or something. But yeah. Wow, this is just taking forever. Absolutely forever. But I'm going away in my sprinter this weekend. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I need a break from this because it is. It's hard work. Bloody hard work. I can see the meaning of uh, meaning of boat. B O A T. Is it break out another thousand? Is that thousand hours or thousand pounds? I'm at the moment. It's cost me two hundred quid for a trailer. 
and probably about 50 quid in fiberglass, maybe 60 quid in fiberglass. So, just under 300 quid. Oh yeah, I have had to buy a winch, uh, but I've used my YouTube money for that. I think I made 36 quid last month. Hey! So I put a couple of quid extra towards that and got myself a winch. And I think I got myself a little, a little panel, a little control panel. But I have got myself a BMW battery. Let's go and check it out. It's in the garage at the moment. It was taken off of the car. Oh, excuse the mess. But yeah, BMW AGM battery. So putting that on charge. My, my garage is an absolute mess. Look at this wood down here. That's from doing Sam's and uh, Kevin's van, which I'm gonna do a little bit more to this weekend. So, yeah, gonna take a little break from the boat. I need to. Hi guys, and welcome back to Project Stinky. Well, I'm in the boat, it's a lovely day. And I'm inside because, despite being a lovely day, it's quite windy out there. So, I've got a few bits and pieces that I want to do. First off, I've got myself a trailer, but it doesn't have a winch. So, I need to fit the winch. Nice big handle. And I went with one with a, uh, a, a strap, like a seatbelt. It's got a two ton capacity, which I don't think this, <laughs> this is never going to weigh two ton. Well, hopefully. And the other thing I've got is some um, battery connects. And the reason being is because behind this panel here, that's where the steering wheel is, and that's where the solar controller was. Here, there was a switch panel. So I've got a new switch panel. And I've got another one of these because I had one of these just lying around. But what I'm going to do is because I don't want anything here. So I'm going to make here a waterproof housing or water, something waterproof. Basically, I'm going to try, I'll probably scuff this up a little bit and I'm going to bond uh, some bits of wood here and hopefully make some kind of, I don't know, because there's a bit of wasted space, really. So that's what I want to do. I want to do it like a little cabinet here so I can have electronics uh, and probably have a little roof, a uh, little shelf coming off of here. Because I think this, I'm not 100% sure, because obviously it would be nice to have like a little cupboard there you can just put knickknacks in it and stuff like that uh, because there's like lights going to go here but I don't know if I'm going to put them on the side because I, what I might do is just get like a single red and green light and put it on the roof for starboard and port I think it is I need to learn all this stuff so yeah today I'm going to put on this on the trailer I'm going to go and get my little, I'll get a couple of bits of wood and because at the moment there's some screws here for the door and all it is is they're just screwed into the fiberglass so it's not all that strong I mean, in fact I can I can wobble the screws already so if I can put a bit of strip of wood down here it'd be a lot more stronger I don't know what to do about this because at the moment I just got one of the kids like slides, yeah, sleds. So I don't know if to go across and make this flat, but then it's going to make the hole a bit smaller. I'm not, I'm not too sure what to do there. Maybe you got some suggestions because obviously the door just comes halfway through, and then it has like like a bifold but there's nothing on the roof. So, do I have to make a, like a hatch 
so it sits all over it, which I think I might have to do. But first of all, I want to get some, get the grinder out, scurf off this blue paint, and then put some strips of timber. It's a lovely day. So it is a lovely day. Right, so there's the trailer. All I've got to do is bolt that to there. So I'll do that now. Right, she's so fully bolted down. I believe that's the right way. Handle goes on this side. Give it a bit of a crank. And then I think the web just goes over. So that's all done. Hunky dory. Right, let's get on with the boat. that as a template to make another one. Put those screws down there. Right. I don't know how wide to do this to be fair. don't. I know I want a piece of wood down here so what I might do is just come across something like that so it's square. I want to skirt this or paint off. I think I might knock that window out. Yeah. take this window out right so we'll get these windows out I think there's a join looks like there's a join there some out just too lazy to go and get a screwdriver I think it's what you got in your hand isn't it at the end of the day Right, yeah. Just going to get a screwdriver, do it properly. Right. There we go, that's all I want. Be needing that anymore. Simple as that. Now I can finish off rubbing this down. There's inside. So that's all prepared. It so needs dusting off. Right. Always put your tools back so you know where they you know where you find them. Dr. Pepper time.
quite funny actually because I've got a uh, shoreline marine fridge freezer in my sprinter camper. Probably not much in it because we've had a good old weekend away. Well, actually, I didn't eat much, did I? But yeah, there you go. Full of water, <laughs> beer, milk, cheese and eggs. Right, let's drink this. Mmm. Oh. Other fruit fizzy drinks are available. So I just need to brush off. And what I should do is first of all get some resin and just put some resin all around here and then give this out to stick to won't it in fact if I'm gonna do that it should really be a bit bigger shouldn't it well, I'm gonna make it bigger yeah I think I should because it'll overlap it'll overlap the wood won't it all right, I better do that, I suppose. Do it properly. All right, that's a lot better. And it's a lot less dusty in there now, even though there's dust down there. Now I've taken that window out. So, right, gonna measure up some bits of wood. I want it to be square, really. Or should I just follow that line? Mm, decisions, decisions. What do you reckon? Do you reckon I should just follow that line? Just come down straight or follow the line down there? If I'm going to do that, then I might as well just do it at the top here, mightn't I? Yeah, oh, dear. Now I'm stuck. Right, okay, I need time to think about that. Well, while I've been contemplating this, I've looked at this edge here and I thought, that don't look great, does it? And just notice if we push on here, I don't think that's meant to do that. I think if you're crashing on the waves, that is going to bang. So what I might do is get the grinder out, grind down there and along this edge. I'll probably screw it along this, along this lip here just to hold it down because all of that is going to crack there and all the way along and that's the top it that's the top of the boat and that is not good seems pretty solid this side that side not so all right okay let's address that before I do that oh, it just keeps on going doesn't it right I'm gonna get a grinder and I'm gonna just grind as much as I can Right, that's the fiberglass there. I can't get a blade in. I'm gonna fill this with resin. 
And what I might do is bend up some fiberglass matting and wind it in there. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of all the dust in there and then I'm gonna, with a brush, I'm gonna brush some resin in there and then I'm gonna stuff fiberglass matting as best I can and then I might just come down somehow and tie that in as best I can. I mean, I don't know what I have to do. Right, I've shaped this piece of wood in. I'll just put a screw at the top where the hinge goes. So that will strengthen that up. And then I, so I can make a frame all the way down. I'll put some, I don't know, I'll put some, as I said, I'll put some resin in there and tuck like, you know, as much as I possibly can of the uh, fiberglass matting. And then I'll probably put another piece of wood along here and then mat it all down. And obviously build up the sides. So I think I'm gonna have to do, I've got, I've got myself a mix and cut with gloves, paintbrush. I mean, it's a sacrificial brush, I don't do cleaning brushes. A bit of resin, and some matting. I'm gonna knock up a weak mix so I can play with it because I don't want it to go off. But hopefully, hopefully, hit it with a hairdryer and it'll be okay. Wish me luck. Or, I'll tell you what, because I'm going to do this anyway, and obviously the time you watch it, it'll have been done. If I'm going to do the other side, you know another way, then I'd love to hear. Because I really need to learn about this. Right, I've enlarged this area. And I've got the old grinder, and I've moulded a piece of wood. So it fits perfect in that corner. So I'm going to knock up some resin, stuff it all around, paint it on, and then I'm going to pre-cut some strips. I'll make the resin quite, not so strong as I want to be able to play with it for quite some time. So anyway, let's do that. Let's crack on. Let's get this bug in the water one day. As I say, I don't know if I'm doing this correct. I'm just applying a bit of mechanical physics, mechanical knowledge, structural bonding, bit of wood so I can screw something to, and hopefully the combined residual strength, a bit like a caravan. And then also do down that little gap there, near the other side. So anyway, I'm gonna mix up some resin and I'll dab it all in.
Right, so there's the first bits on there. I've just screwed from the outside and obviously one hole was the hinge. So that's the basic frame. So I'm gonna let that go off and then I can lay some more fiberglass in the bottom. So that's something to stick to, that's been stuffed right in there. And these obviously bits of wood here are gonna uh, get glassed in a little bit more. So there's more strength there. And then uh, I'll tie it in the bottom, tie it around the sides. But yeah, there you go. So I can wait out for dry. Right, I think it's a cup of tea time. Right, obviously it doesn't look pretty because I've ground this all off. But I've wedged in loads of fiberglass behind there, loads of resin, squeezed it out. And then I've glassed in this bottom piece. And then what I'll do is later when it's all gone off because it's still wet. Because what I've done is I've glassed, well, rep, soaked loads of resin on the wood. Because I've noticed here, there's a bit of a bubble. There's a bubble there. There's a bubble there. And there's a bubble there. So I don't think it's quite adhering to the wood so it doesn't soak in. So I've pre-pregnated the wood with resin. So that's that's wet that is, that's why it's all shiny. And I've just put a screw on the other side holding that and I've just larrapped loads of resin around the sides, all over it, all back down here, down the back. And you can see it's all dripping out down there, which I don't really care about. Um, so hopefully, next time I go to put some fiberglass on it, it'll just, just be nice and it'll stick to it properly. So, live and learn. So what I've done at the moment, I've just made this little panel, it's going to sit in right there. I would like that to be a full length panel. So, it'll be sitting you know, all the way down. So I need to get the measurements really. What I'll do is I'll probably get a bit of cardboard from work and cut that out so it follows it perfect. But I will leave a little gap because obviously it's a fiberglass boat and it's going to move. But hopefully this structure here, I shall tie it in, in there and around there. And now, I mean, even now, that isn't going anywhere. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's today's today's episode. Winch on. So the winch is on. I've got myself some. Oh, hang on, where are they? Battery terminals. So I might put the battery there and just make up a little. So it helps you step in and out. I don't know. What I might do is I might put the battery there, tread on it and see if it helps. But, oh, there's a little snail there. I think we have to invest in a proper mask, proper respirator. Because I've been doing the old scuba dive thing where you're sucking up a load of water and snotting it out. And I know that's not the greatest way to do things and I have actually I did actually buy a painter's suit one of those white disposable suits but it's so freaking hot so what I've been doing I've been putting talcum powder all over me stop the fiberglass from getting in my skin I don't know if that's a good thing but I read it somewhere so anyway trying to restore this skanky old fishing boat I think it's a fishing boat I remember I know it's called a sea nymph and obviously 15 or 16 I can't remember but yeah there's still loads to do with it I mean it's like all this flaky paint I mean it's just like all that I haven't got a clue what to I, I might get like a really soft wire brush like a like a, um, what they call them, look at that, it's just, it's not even done, not even on properly. 
not even keyed up. That's the annoying thing. It's so much all this work that could have been. What's the word? Uh, I wouldn't have had to do it if it had been keyed up and properly. But what I might do is I'll probably spray glue the whole bloody lot or copy decks that glue stuff and then stick some kind of insulation to it. Don't really know. Don't know how far. I'd like to do this boat so it's unrecognisable. And say like I bet no. It's just a little fishing boat. It's got to have a 265 solar panel on the roof, but on a canopy. That's the hint and reason why I've, I've put those bits in there and the other bit. So I'm going to do the same the other side. And I've resined them in, screwed them from underneath with wood, fiberglass them all in. And hopefully they'll be they're not gonna be taking any weight they're gonna have little 25 mil I don't know like sockets I suppose plastic or stainless steel and then have some nice stainless steel or aluminium uprights for a canopy that's the plan whether it happens or not I've got the battery, I've got the solar controller, I've got all the wires and the solar panel. So hopefully it might do. Anyway, I'm going to edit this. Don't forget to click and subscribe if you enjoy this. It's just me, a man on his driveway trying to rescue a free boat. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.